What's up? Hey, it's Yvonne. Uh, so last video we set up some autoresponders. We set up two on our get response so that when people click on our ClickFunnels page and put in their name and address, they will have these autoresponders sent to them. Today I just wanted to finalize the process and integrate the two together and just test it out. All right, so let's jump right in. So here were our two autoresponders that we've set up. Um, you know, hey, welcome to the campaign, and hey, have you heard about this? So first thing we need to do is we have to go to the top right here, top right corner where it says My Account, go to Account Details, and at the bottom, we need to click the tab that says API and OAuth. Click that, and now this is the code we will need to copy into our ClickFunnels. So I'm just going to copy this. I'm going to go to ClickFunnels. We need to go under My Account, Integrations on your ClickFunnels. Okay, so make sure it's on integrations here. I already have mine set up for my campaigns, but I will do another one just to show you guys. So create a nickname, maybe say autoresponders, select integration type, get response, and here's where we paste our key. All right, so I'm going to paste it here. This is how ClickFunnels knows what a campaign exactly and what account the get response relates to. Okay, so we've done that. So that's step one. Step two now, we need to go to our individual landing pages and complete the integration there. So um, we, in our past videos, we've done four landing pages for A, B, or split testing purposes. For the purpose of this video, I'm just going to do it on two, okay? So I'm not going to go through all the landing pages we've done, okay? So as you can see here, under the this email uh, button, it doesn't have a check mark. We need to make sure it has a check mark there. So we click on it, click on Select Integration. So go to the integration that we have just set up, which was the autoresponders. Click on Add to Campaign and select your campaign, Diabetes 1. Click Save and look at that. Now it's got a little check mark to it, so that's awesome, okay? So that's exactly what we need. So now we're going to go back and we're going to put it on every single landing page that we need to work, obviously. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to go email, autoresponder, add to campaign, diabetes1. That's our campaign. So something to keep in mind, uh, something I learned the hard way. If you are split testing your landing pages on ClickFunnels and you delete one of the pages and you put something new in there, always remember to set up this integration again. Because if you don't, you're going to be losing a lot of clients, okay? So uh, for me, one of the mistakes I've done one morning, I wake up, I see a ton of contacts on my ClickFunnels, but I don't see anything in get response. For just this reason, I completely forgot that I created a new landing page and I forgot to do this integration on that landing page, okay? So keep that in mind, very important. Um, so now that we've done that, I don't want to click on my ClickMagic link because it may take me to the other two uh, landing pages on our split testing. So I'm just going to click here. And I will test it out to make sure it works here. So I'm just going to show me the email. I'll say ASDF, and let me put in um, let me put in this awesome testing email at gmail.com. So that's the email we're going to use, and let's see if it's going to work. So when we click on that, it takes us to the thank you page, and then it's going to say show me the video. So we don't want that now, but I'm going to go to my email, and as you can see here, I got my email. Um, in this case, it's Gmail, so it ended up in my in the mail Gmail list. But keep in mind that it may go into spam for most people, okay? Because it's coming from a simple free account Gmail. So uh, I do really recommend that you create your own private email, um, such as I have here using Namecheap, which maybe we'll go over in some of our future videos, okay? So that's that. So if I click on this, that's what our email looks like. So I just subscribed. And I just got this email. Okay, so pretty awesome. I can always unsubscribe if I want to, uh, but that's that's pretty cool. So we know it works. Okay, so uh, that's about it. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below. And stay tuned where we for our future videos where we dive deeper into Get Response and look at some additional features which can benefit you. All right. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.